Okay. So this is going to be how we're, how we're going to make Sonic to jump. Is this is an important bit of making the scripts because if we make Sonic just jump, move up, he's it's the the character the sprite isn't going. To, we need to force it back down. So what we have to do is just like we walk on the Earth, we have to go and make a variable, and we're going to make a variable, and we're going to call it gravity because we need gravity in order to bring Sonic back down. In order to make him go, come back down, we need to make it minus. And we're going to see a quick tutorial that somebody has put on the Scratch website already here. So, how to jump with gravity. Now, this is going to be only for your up arrow key. All the other keys, we're going to make them move using X and Y axes. So Y is up and down. The way you remember X and Y is X is a shake of the head going from left to right. Y means yes. X means no. So yes goes up and down. When green flag is clicked, forever, all the way down here, if arrow key is pressed, set gravity to 15. Change Y by 10. That means it goes up. And to bring him back down, so we're going to change this to a color so that when it touches the color of the platform so here we can make it black so this cat here when it touches the black it's going to stop jumping down and change gravity by minus one so we're going to change y by gravity which means that we're going to change it by minus one so have a look what, what this is going to look like when green flag is clicked forever if move that over here, we're just going to make that variable here. Now it, it's got it ticked here. We don't need it ticked over here. If I go and tick this back on and off, you'll see what happens. So we don't really need this on. Forever if, and we have a repeat in there. Repeat until. Sorry, my mouse isn't working there properly. Repeat until. I'm going to put that in here. So we there we have the basic blocks. Just going to have a quick look. So there, repeat until we want the arrow key, set gravity to 15, change y by minus 10. And we can pause this video at any time if you want. I want that block as well. Okay. So I just paused it slightly, it's just so we could break up the code, so you could you could copy it properly. Let's just go and so in here, we, this is the bit that we're going to change. Change the sprites, and I've also had to just draw a black line so that you can so it's possible for you to see the color. Uh, so I've just broken it up forever. If you can pause the video any time, the last bit that we're going to put in is we can go and drop these in here. So you'll have what looks like three orange blocks around there and the last bit is gravity and we drop it in there, we drop it in instead of the 10 okay so when the green flag is clicked and I press the up arrow you can see over here I've got Sonic uh, I put Y by I need to go and change that, it's my fault, I can change Y would be helpful and I don't know if you, you probably couldn't see that, but I just saw Sonic disappear. I'm going to my variable and drag gravity in here and just going to there we go. There's Sonic. I'm going to click the green flag. And you should bounce up and down until it's touching the black which we didn't do. So you need to go and choose the, the colour picket. Right click on there, show Sonic, there he is. Green flag, up, oh, and he lands on the black and stops at the black. So you can see that he's got a nice bounce to him now. That's the end of this part.